Ellen Anders was born on August 13, 2503, on the colony of Arcadia. At some point in her life, she studied under Dr. Catherine Halsey. However, their relationship was a tense one and neither held the other in fond regard. Nevertheless, this didn't stop Halsey from recognizing Anders' genius. Anders also had a strained relationship with her mother. Though the details are unknown, Anders' mother wanted Ellen to go by Dr. Anders in her professional career. Instead, Anders preferred to go by the title of Professor. By 2531, Professor Anders was lecturing on theoretical xenobiology at Reichard University. After a lecture one day, she was abducted by Oni Section 3 agents. As it turns out, Halsey had recommended Anders as a civilian consultant. Upon arriving at an unknown location, Anders was shown classified images taken over Harvest and an intercepted communique referring to the world as a treasure world. Her interest piqued, Anders decided to work with Oni to find out what the Covenant were doing on Harvest. On January 30th, she boarded the UNSC Last Gleaming, a prowler, and was taken to the Epsilon Indy system. There, she was transferred to the UNSC Spirit of Fire, where she would continue her consulting work. Arriving on board on February 4th, she immediately briefed the captain, James Cutter, on her analysis of the Oni images, making special note of the activity in the northern region. This prompted Cutter to deploy Sergeant Forge to the surface. There, the sergeant was forced to regroup scattered UNSC forces and take back Alpha Base. Once done, they were able to move in on a relic site the Covenant had been interested in. When the site was taken, Anders headed to the service to investigate, where she discovered a Forerunner star map pointing towards her homeworld, Arcadia. Upon returning to the Spirit, she briefed Captain Cutter on her findings and was able to convince him to pursue the Covenant. During the trip to Harvest, Anders wrote a letter to her father. What looked to Oni sensors to be a detailed analysis of Homer's Odyssey was in fact a coded message detailing her mission to Harvest and her findings. Oni never caught on and the message, uncensored, was sent to her father. When the Spirit of Fire arrived over Arcadia on February 9th, they found the planet under attack and proceeded to deploy forces to help evac civilians. Afterwards, and now supported by Spartan Team Red, Spirit Forces were able to refocus on the Covenant's activity on Arcadia. Beneath a giant energy dome, they were looking for something. In order to find out, Anders suggested using a number of plasma-based Rhino tanks. Anders would also need to be on the ground in order to properly calibrate the power settings. Once the shield was down and local Covenant forces eliminated, Anders, escorted by Sergeant Forge, investigated the Forerunner site. Unfortunately, she was captured by Ripamorami, a massive elite known as the Arbiter, and brought to a Forerunner installation known as a Shield World. There, she was used to unlock a massive fleet of Forerunner ships, more than enough to wipe out humanity. As the Covenant were distracted by the awakening of their new fleet, however, Anders took a chance. Having noticed that the Forerunner system seemed to take voice commands, she gambled that the platform that had once held her prisoner would serve another purpose. With a single word, she found herself on the interior surface of the shield world and reunited with the Spirit of Fire which had followed her signal there. Once back on board the ship, she briefed Captain Cutter on what she had found out and developed a plan to destroy the shield world. By overloading the ship's slipspace drive, they could cause the shield world's mini-sun to go supernova, destroying it and the fleet within. Sergeant Forge was assigned to oversee the operation, while Anders monitored from the Spirit of Fire. The mission was ultimately a success though only at the cost of Forge's life. Following their escape from the S.H.I.E.L.D. world, Anders spent weeks monitoring nearby space for Covenant activity, though none was ever found. On March 11th, she and most of the surviving crew were placed in cryo, only to be awakened when contact with the UNSC had been re-established. However, in January of 2537, Anders was awoken prematurely when a flood outbreak occurred on board the Spirit. Spartan Jerome 092 was awoken soon after and, with the help of Anders and Serena, the outbreak was dealt with. Before returning to cryostasis, Anders helped Serena initiate final dispensation. Serena could feel the onset of rampancy and, blaming herself for the scale of the flood outbreak, didn't want to cause further harm to the ship or crew. Now, 28 years after she first boarded the Spirit of Fire, Anders and the rest of the crew have been awoken, only to find that they are beyond the edge of the galaxy. Below them is a massive Forerunner installation, the Ark, and now they face a new enemy in the form of the Banished. Now more than ever, Anders' knowledge of alien technology will be paramount if the Spirit of Fire is to survive this new war. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you liked this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up, subscribing, and sharing it around. You are the reason I get to keep doing this, so thank you, profusely thank you. If you want to dive deeper into Halo's lore, head over to the Halo Archive. It's a lore-based community that welcomes everyone from experts to rookies. 
No matter what your working knowledge, you'll be sure to find a friend and a good time.